वेलकम टू नॉलेज अपडेट चैनल मेजोरिटी ऑफ ऑल चार्ट अकाउंटेंट्स विच आर इन प्रैक्टिस दे आर अटैच विथ द टैक्स ऑडिट तो आज हम बात करेंगे कि टैक्स ऑडिट में क्वालिटी ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग के लिए क्या कमेंट्स बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है टैक्स ऑडिट में प्राइमरली दो पार्ट है फर्स्ट दैट इज अ फॉर्म थ्री सी ए और थ्री सी बी रिपोर्ट सेकेंड इज अ फॉर्म थ्री सी डी काफी टाइम हमने देखा है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम जो है फॉर्म थ्री सी डी के पीछे जाता है उसकी पर्टिकुलर कलेक्ट करने में कंपाइल करने में उसको चेक करने में बट सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज जो टैक्स ऑडिटर प्रैक्टिसिंग सी ए के लिए है जो साइन करता है वो है फॉर्म थ्री सी ए और फॉर्म थ्री सी बी आज के वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे डिस्कस करेंगे ड्राफ्ट कमेंट्स जो फॉर्म थ्री सी ए और थ्री सी में अपनी होनी चाहिए विच इंक्रीज द क्वालिटी अब क्वालिटी हम बात करते हैं तो काफी टाइम क्वालिटी ऑफ डूइंग वर्क मोस्ट प्रोबेबली अपना जो टाइम होता है वो एग्जीब्यूशन पे होता है हम हर एक चीज को चेक करते हैं बट प्रेजेंटेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग स्टेक होल्डर्स गवर्नमेंट रेगुलेटर्स या बैंक एवरीबडी इज हैविंग द टैक्स ऑडिट रिपोर्ट एंड हाउ इट इज प्रेजेंटेड सो quality is also judged by way of how it's presented to responsibility hamari kya hai kaun se point aise hai jo critical hai aur wo apne ko likhne chahiye so during these particular things we are going to focus on providing a draft comment that can be included as a part of the form 3c a or 3c b by the auditor these are only the illustrative or draft comment for case to case basis it need to be modified updated and you may or may not include it is your wish to take care the objective is that let us every ca when they certify attest represent provide the comments which are relevant to every readers and users when they look at the tax void report first let us look at glance over form 3c a form 3c a may फर्स्ट पार्ट इज अबाउट द ऑडिट रिपोर्ट तो जहां जहां ऑलरेडी ऑडिट हो गया है उस केस में फॉर्म थ्री सी एप्लीकेबल है वेर यू कैन जस्ट मैंशन की मैंने ऑडिटर फिनियल अकाउंट ऑडिटर बैलेंस शीट एंड डॉक्यूमेंट विच आर पार्ट ऑफ दिस आर अटैच तो मैं सेपरेटली ऑडिट नहीं कर रहा हूं प्रॉफिट डिस्काउंट बैलेंस शीट का फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट ऑलरेडी ऑडिटेड है अंडर सम अदर एक्ट तो उसको अटैच किया है एंड वहां पे सेकंड पार्ट इज अबाउट फॉर्म थ्री सी डी पर्टिकुलर वेर द टैक्स ऑडिटर नीड टू गिव इट्स ओपिनियन ऑन ट्रू एंड करेक्टनेस ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर मैंशन इन फॉर्म थ्री सी डी सो फ्रेंड्स हियर द फोकस इज टू प्रोवाइड ट्रू एंड करेक्ट ऑफ द इंफॉर्मेशन फर्निश इन फॉर्म थ्री सी डी इट इज नॉट ट्रू एंड फेयर जनरली ट्रू एंड फेयर इज फॉर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट True and correct is for form 3C particulars. So, if anything which you have taken some assumptions, judgments, or working which may have impact on the particulars, in my view, form 3C D particulars true and correct should be there. If it is not there, please provide your observations or qualifications or comment in para 3. So, form 3C A is on that. Form 3C B is Having two parts again. First is on financial statements. Now financial statements under Form 3C A it was already audited. Form 3C B A me audit aap kar rahe ho aur aap uske financial statements ko attach kar rahe ho and also you give your comments. So observations, comment, discrepancies, inconsistency on the basically books of accounts on financial statements which are given by you. so yahan pe true and fair view hai again for financial statements that includes balance sheet profit or account and any notes or account which are attached with that so para 3 of form 3c b is with respect to financial statements para 5 is again talking about form 3c d true and correct so form 3c a if you are signing or if you are signing form 3c b then under form 3c a focus is only on form 3c d particulars 
attaching the auditor report under form 3cb focuses on two parts one is the true and fairness of financial statement include notes on accounts second is true and correctness of the form 3cb particulars and dono jagah pe apne ko apni comment deni hai observation deni hai qualifications deni hai jisse anybody who looks at these particular document they have clarity and transparency of responsibility of auditor and of management so comments kahan deni hai agar aap form 3c ki baat kare to form 3c mein aapko comment deni hai para 3 mein which is on form 3cd form 3c mein koi comments financial statement pe nahi deni hai kyunki wo already covered hai audit report ke andar agar form 3c bhi hai एंड अगर आपको कमेंट देनी है ऑन फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स देन गिव कमेंट इन पैरा थ्री ए और अगर कमेंट देनी है आपको ऑन फॉर्म थ्री सी डी पर्टिकुलर देन यू गिव कमेंट इन पैरा फाइव सो ये ओवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग है कि कौन सी कमेंट कहां पे देनी है एनी कमेंट रिलेवेंट टू फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इन पैरा थ्री ए कमेंट रिलेवेंट टू द फॉर्म थ्री सी डी पर्टिकुलर आपको देनी है पैरा फाइव के अंदर अब हम बात करते हैं इलेस्ट्रेटिव लिस्ट एज जैसे मैंने बताया आपको कि ऑब्जेक्टिव है आपको एक ड्राफ्ट कमेंट देने का क्या कमेंट देना नहीं देना दैट इज ऑल इज ऑन यू टू डिसाइड लेट अस फर्स्ट लुक एट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एस एस सेवन हंड्रेड जो है एंड द ऑडिट रिपोर्ट जो है स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ ऑडिटिंग ऑल्सो सेज दैट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अब फॉर्म थ्री सी बी थ्री सी ए जो है उसको हम चेंज नहीं कर सकते हैं However, certain important paragraph of standard of auditing that we should include as a part of our uh, tax audit report. So, first comment is that responsibility of preparation of financial statement is of management. So, this uh, paragraph should be included as a part of your form 3CB in para 3A of 3CB. So, that talks about responsibility of management. It is in accordance with the applicable AS. of ICI and the maintenance implementation maintenance of internal control that gives true and fair uh, they are free from written misstatement whether due to fraud or error so that is the responsibility of management which we have to include as a part of uh, para 3 of form 3cb now a responsibility of management for form 3cd see form 3cd mein jo information hai wo banana hai compile karna hai management ko tax audit committee ki responsibility here is to review and comment if there is a observations qualification comments so the responsibility of preparation of form 3cd is of management that we need to put it very clearly by putting a comment in para 3a or form 5 of 3cb so 3a or 5 of 3cb uh, basically uh, that is there so responsibility for preparation of statement of particulars form 3cd that is of uh, the management so assessor is responsible for form 3cd that is means specified here also in form 3ca in para 5 this should be mentioned then comes uh, the tax auditor responsibility for financial statements tax auditor responsible financial statements may first jo point hai wo again what is our responsibility as a tax auditor to express an opinion on these financial statements for which we have complied with the standard of auditing also the procedure which you have followed wo kya hai wo yahan pe mention kiya apne ne also the audit evidence which we have collected that we believe is a sufficient and appropriate evidence so that is the part of the tax auditor responsibility it is with respect to financial statements so it should be part of para 3a now responsibility of tax auditor for form 3cd again that is a part of basically uh, verifying the statement of particulars uh, in form 3cd we conducted verification based on guidance note so now we are talking about the reference to guidance note on tax audit that is a base for us for doing verification so that part you would mention either in uh, para 3 of form 3c or para 3 para 5 of form 3cb anywhere you can mention what is responsibility of tax auditor and you have complied with the tax auditor guidance note of ici 
uh, that is what is the very important part for tax auditor in case if it happens that the previous year is being done by some other auditor and you are the for the first time doing audit then it is advisable to mention that the previous year's figures opening balances are being uh, audited by somebody else or previous year if it is not audited then opening balance figures are unaudited then at least you can save yourself from the anything which happens from opening balances accounting standards are applicable even for non company entities and there are four levels classifications and the criteria has been specified by ICI so even for partnership firm proprietorship firm llp huf everyone accounting standards are applicable so if there is a non compliance of there is a somewhere where accounting standards are not been appropriately be complied with it it is responsibility of the auditor to ensure that the comment that of has been mentioned there are few as which i believe are generally uh, maybe a non compliant by the soc it can mention about as 22 that is uh, defer tax related things as 10 proper equipment where depreciation is not been provided in books of accounts and uh, which is not in compliance with as 10 as 7 construction contracts the presentation and discussion may not be provided as 15 employee benefits so with respect to gratuity long term benefit if it is not compliant with it it has to be mentioned here as 13 investments so these are the few standard which i feel are generally i have seen as not being compliant with small uh, kind of uh, non communities however you can add further you may modify it and you can may delete as per your requirement coming to clause wise information there is clause 21a which talks about amount uh, debited to profit loss account being the nature of capital personal advertisements capital expenditures here you can mention the comments like there is no personal expenditures as informed to us expert to us or you can also mention in case of any uh, expenditure which are done in terms of employment arrangement that you can mention as it is as per policy or if it is not possible for us to very support conclusion of certain expenditure like vehicle running telephone convenience uh, then that should be mentioned again these are just comments you can change as per the case of your uh, oddity and then as per you can should modify it <coughs> clause 21d which talks about this allowance <coughs> or deemed income under section 40a3 so you can mention that we have not notice any payment in excess of 10000 or 35000 rupees however the ssc did not possess necessary evidence to verify the same if you have some reservations some comments on that where you are unable to do that please mention that there is no need to really uh, worry on the comments because our uh, our opinion is not true and correct msmed so uh, clause already talks about amount of interest in admissible under msmed in certain cases we observe that msmed complies may not be there or thus uh, the information of who is registered under msmed is not available so that should be mentioned here that does not have relevant information regarding micro small medium enterprise which is registered under provisions so that should be provided clause 23 which talks about particulars of payments made to person specified under rule section 40 a to b so you, if you take another list from the management if you rely on the list it is better to mention that fact that you rely on the list provided by certified by management clause 29 b that is on any amount that is to be included as a part of income chargeable under head so wherever it is possible that the ssc intend to con contest that the market value does not exceed the consideration so it is better to provide the information that the stamp value duty is different than consideration paid what is the stamp duty value what is consideration so that should be uh, noted separately in this particular clause clause 31 that is section 269 double s if there you have some reservations you can mention that if it is not possible to verify you can mention that that there are certain documents are not available with management or uh, basically if it is taken otherwise then account by check and if you are unable to do it please mention that part also 
section 266 st same as we discussed in double s if there is some reservation on your part better to mention that reservations uh, instead of taking and reporting something which you are not sure same way for 269t uh, in case if any loan has been converted to equity or any such transaction which you have taken a call uh, and not reported please mention as a part of your form 3c or 3cb if something has been adjusted with salary so not being paid by your account be checked but adjust with salary so the so adjustments may not be non-compliance and that call if you've taken please mention that uh, repayment of loan has been adjusted with salary uh, it is better to provide a complete disclosure instead of assuming something and then uh, later on somebody may ask questions on this part tds tcs uh, clause 34 very critical very important part because uh, it is sometimes difficult to get 100% satisfaction on that part so we can mention the your follow auditing standards and done taste check basis you operate concept of materiality so that kind of information uh, if it is disclosed it will be useful and relevant because uh, it is really sometimes difficult to look at every small part it may not be material also and you may have adopted a test check basis verification so better to provide this information in your uh, para 3 of form 3c or para 5 of form 3cb quantity details of stock if the is not provided not maintained adequate report please mention that uh, part as in case comment in case if the SS is not maintained because of the numerous items practically not possible it is uh, it is advisable to mention separately that it is not particularly possible for the assessor to maintain that clause 36 a dim dividend agar dim dividend uh, ka point hai jahan pe aapko pass uh, assessor ne provide information nahi kiya appropriately so that should be mentioned or uh, about accrued profit to enable us to report that loans advances received by assessor is dim dividend or not if you are unable to provide better to provide a comment in your report clause 44 nay saal first year se hi aa raha hai aur gst break up mein aapko kahi doubt hai dikkat hai to it is always advisable ki agar aap ye information nahi provide kar rahe ho because wo information provide karna difficult hai so better to report a comment in your para 3 or para 5 of 3cb or 3ca saying that company is not maintained such information in the, in the absence of disclosure requirements accounting software does not capture that it is not possible to determine breakup so that information can be mentioned here in case if the assess is not registered under gst and that's why not provide information it is better to provide that that fact that assess is not registered and that's why the system software is not designed to capture this kind of information so that it is better to provide customized uh, response to every SSE where why it is not be provided. In case if you have provided information but you have doubt about the accuracy of information because of limitation of obtaining some information, better to provide the limitations if you take some call of some expenditure to be included or not included in total expenditures then you mentioned that total expenditure reported uh, Includes capital expenditure, but does not include depreciation, but debt, expenditure which are not supply. So whatever call you taken, whatever base you taken to report that because cost 41 does not provide a nature wise listing. You are just providing a total amount. So whatever thing you have taken, have a base, have a working paper to arrive at the figure and whatever call you taken, mention that as a part of class 44. So these are the few things, but at the end, I'm just would like to provide disclaimer that the objective is that you have to give just a startup draft comment. Dena. You please change, add, modify. If you have any suggestion, please you can email me. And uh, uh, please start a practice to provide most important adequate disclosures in your report. And I hope that this particular draft release is useful to you. अगर आपको ये लिस्ट चाहिए तो एक ब्लॉग पे मैंने लिस्ट डाला हुआ है आप वहां से कॉपी पेस्ट कर सकते हो जस्ट गो टू दिस पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट ब्लॉग एंड देन यू कैन कॉपी एंड पेस्ट मॉडिफाइड अमेंड इट अपडेट इट एज रिक्वायर्ड एंड इफ यू फील इट इज यूजफुल यू कैन आल्सो फॉरवर्ड टू 
anybody who is looking for to increase the quality of reporting that is what is the aim and objective of this video thank you so much